this is Ryan Knox with the ANR GIS office. This video is going to demonstrate some GPS data collection using ArcFed. ArcFed is usually available on your desktop or through the start menu. When you open ArcFed, typically you get this dialog box that you can browse for an existing map. In our previous video, getting data for ArcPad, we create we automatically created it, created an ArcPad map. And you can see this is it. In this exercise, we're gonna explore some of ArcPad's uh, geography. In the top left, you'll see the main toolbar. These are kind of big picture uh, action items like saving the document, adding layers, looking at the table of contents, and also your GPS preferences. We're going to take a look at those right now. This is where you set your parameters for GPS collection. The ANR GIS standard is to enable averaging with a minimum of 30 positions for a point feature. Now we're going to look at the quality tab. We also want to collect information that has a PDOP of 6 or lower and only receive 3D positions. You can also change the GPS height to what's appropriate. We'll confirm that the datum is WGS84. You can also change your alerts to your preferences. You can also change the sound if you so choose. done setting those, hit OK. By default, sometimes the GPS is not active. That's something you're going to need to do right off the bat. You can see that red box indicates that GPS is active. Now we're going to take a look at the GPS position window. You know, right now we can see the black satellites. Those are satellites that we have a fix on. Right here is the PDOP, which is, which is a very good indicator of accuracy. Right now that's right around 1.6, and this is our position. Know that and we're also collecting in 3D, which is one of our uh, required parameters. If you right or just left click on the coordinate display, you can see that you can change things. If you also click on the sky plot, you can also change that view as well. This, this one right here will be useful in navigation. Our first task is going to be um, relocating this position to our current GPS position. So it's updating the GPS position. To do so, we need to start an edit session. This toolbar here is called the Browse Toolbar, and this pencil starts an edit session. Select the layer that you want to edit. In this example, it's the biomonitoring site. As soon as you select that, the edit toolbar shows up. Okay. Now our task is to move this feature to our current GPS position. To do, to, to do that, go to the select drop down menu and the select and vertex editing. Select that tool. You're going to want to select the existing feature, right click, and say move to GPS. You 
you can see at the bottom, we're collecting our 30 positions. Those 30 positions will then be used to, to calculate an average location for us. move that position, you need to hit the green checkbox in the bottom left hand corner. And now our position has moved. <laughs> Where did it go? There's another preference that is sometimes useful, um, other times not, but it's called uh, automatically pan to view. In that case that's what we want because we want to pan to where our current position is. And there it is. Obviously this isn't a real example because here I am in the laundry building and there's my new position. That was updating an existing feature to your current position. The next step we're going to do is show you how to create a new feature. On the edit toolbar, remember we're in an edit session. This capture GPS point button will capture a GPS position at your current location. There's almost there's one existing here, but this is for demonstration purposes only. Notice at the top it's showing the percent of the 30 positions that we need. While that's collecting information, you can fill out the attributes. This, this is a great use of um, domains. The domains that are set up in GIS are reflected reflected in the archive application. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll say this is a fish monitoring site. When we filled out the attributes, just hit OK. And now that feature is stored. That was collecting a new GPS position. The next, next task I'm going to demonstrate is how you can use the GoTo tool for navigation. Say we wanted to, well, first of all, to activate it from the browse toolbar, there's the identify drop down arrow. Select the go to. And then anywhere on your map, select the target. Notice now in my GPS position window, there's a bearing of 303 and a distance of 276 meters. That's, that's to my target. Notice how I can interactively select a new target and those numbers change. See now it's almost directly south. And if I go east, it should be roughly 90. Yep. That's demonstrating using the go. You can also navigate to an existing feature. Um, to do that, I'm going to create a feature, just drawing a feature, by selecting this point tool and just plopping it here. Now if I use the select tool and select that feature, hit the drop down arrow and say go to selected features, I can use an existing feature as my target. So I'm a distance of 273 bearing 314. You can use your map window and your GPS position window for navigation. And that's a brief uh, example of navigation. And that concludes the GPS data collection using ArcPad video.